The next and the last lecture under crop and animal production is sustainable agriculture. Sustainable agriculture is food and textile needs. Generations to meet their needs. Sustainable agriculture focuses to protect soil, water, and air quality. And principles include the ecological balance, resource conservation, and social equity, social fairness. Importance of sustainable agriculture. It ensures food security by promoting healthy and chemical free food production. It increases crop yields, food production, and food security. Uh, remember, we're trying to sustain the environment. We are trying to ensure the people who are consuming are safe. And we are trying to ensure even the next generation, even if they are not around, find a safe environment. So how do we ensure this? Reduce the use of fertilizers, reduce the use of chemicals, and all that that will harm the environment and as the humanity and food security. Uh, reduces environmental harm, uh, soil erosion, water and air pollution. It mitigates climate change and conserves natural resources. It promotes economic sustainability and self-reliance for farmers. A principles of sustainable agriculture, one is soil health, promotes fertility, microbial diversity, and protection water quality. The third principle is the biodiversity. It encourages crop diversity and reduces pest. Uh, the fourth principle is integrated pest management. It uses natural pest control methods and then the conservation of natural resources, which is efficient technologies and practices. The animal welfare promotes human treatment and alternative livestock systems. Practices of sustainable agriculture. One is conservation of tillage, reduces soil erosion and improves structure, soil structure. We have crop we have cover crops that we know. I talked about this a lot. It protects soil, improves fertility, and reduces pest. We have integrated pest management, which is natural pest control methods, yeah, without affecting the ecosystem or the environmental balance. And then we have the water conservation that is efficient irrigation and reduced waste. We have the agroforestry integrates trees for multiple benefits. Yeah? We integrate trees in our farm. We talked about this a lot of times to conserve and prevent what? Soil erosion. And the higher yields, better structure, erosion, prevention. water quality yeah and then increase biodiversity that is crop diversity and reduced pest improved animal welfare that is human treatment of animals alternative systems and then reduced greenhouse gas emission that is conservation of resources yeah and then improved food security healthy and nutritious food production ethical considerations in food production Many people take ethical to mean the right kind of food, but not. But food ethic is broader. It's about the principle that dedicate what counts as acceptable treatment of others in relation to food, from human treatment of, of farm animals to looking after the environment, and then from from human health to fair treatment of people working in the food system. Yeah? These considerations aside, the human rights to food and the and the central moral issue of food security, hunger and malnutrition, as well as matters such as workers' exploitation and environmental protection and preservation, are also concerns essential to topic of food ethics. Ethical food production includes consideration of people's or workers' welfare, whether on small farms, on producer or cooperatives on large estates on plantations. The environment centered on environmental sustainability, yeah, the effect of food, uh, food ethics on environment, of course, deals in environmental sustainability. And in animals, it's mainly 
with animal concern with animal rights and animal welfare. Then the global exists when all people at all times have all the necessary means to access sufficient food to meet their needs and maintain a healthy life. Answering are the challenges facing proper implementation of food security. Our one is the climate change and environmental shocks. The climate crisis is changing, is changing weather patterns and increasing the flood and droughts. It is also re responsible for changing and polluting entire ecosystems, compromising biodiversity and destroying habits. All these events have a huge impact on food production as they significantly limit the quality, availability, and accessibility of resources and compromise the stable environmental shocks. A second is population increase and the modern food system. Uh, by, 20, by 2050, by 2050, yeah. Estimates predict, estimates predict that the total population of people living on Earth will reach nearly 10 billion. And more people on the planet means more wealth to feed, and this can put a strain on its resources, as the modern agricultural system is already struggling to meet the global needs. And that disruptions in the food chain, the recent catastrophic events have heavily compromised the global food chain, the chain, sparking changes in consumers' demand, leading to the sudden closure of food production facilities. Combined, these factors have led to shortage of food supplies and an increase in the number of people facing hunger and malnutrition. Our next is farming practices. Farming practices vary according to soil and climatic conditions. The potential marketability of specific farm products and the economic objective of the farmer. Hmm? So, individual farms within the same. Region, yeah, vegetables. However, some farms produce milk, others raise animals for meat, milk, or even egg production. And then many farms produce combinations of crops and livestock. Increasing numbers farm that is fish, shellfish, and crustaceans as demands of seafood outstrip supply in the wild. Those are different farm practices, and um, different people produce different uh, products. Yeah, food availability, food availability, the availability of sufficient quantities of food of appropriate quality. Supplied through domestic production or imports, including food aid. The access by individuals to adequate resources or entitlements for acquiring appropriate foods for our nutritious diet. The roles of agriculture in addressing malnutrition. In addressing malnutrition, agriculture's essential and singular, singular role is to ensure that diverse nutritious foods adequate to meet the needs of people of all ages are available and accessible at all times, either from the market or from farmers' own production. Traditional and raising incomes to reduce malnutrition, hunger, and poverty. A more comprehensive approach is necessary to optimize agriculture's contribution to good nutrition and make Defines constraints and opportunities to live detracting from the agricultural sector conventional goals. And then, at the, mac at the macroeconomic level, policies including trade and public investment, guided by agricultural and rural development strategies, can affect this. Uh, education and information. Are Essential to healthier diets and better nutrition, particularly for smallholders. Without without social and behavioral changes, food 
Food storage and preparation and diets may stay the same even if incomes, production and productivity increases. Uh, sustainable sustainable develop, development goals related to farming and nutrition, also known as the global goals, the universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, planet and ensure that the 17 SDGs uh, uh, in that goal, okay. And then the 17 SDGs are into the grams in others, and that development must balance social, economic, and environmental sustainability. Countries have committed to prioritize progress for those who for those who are furthest behind. SDGs are designed to end poverty, hunger, AIDS, and discrimination against women and girls. Uh, sustainable development goals related to farming and nutrition. Uh, the Zero Hunger Challenge has since gained widespread support from many members, member states, and other entities. It calls for zero standard children under the age of two. 100% access to adequate food all year round. All food systems are sustainable. And then 100% increase in smallholder productivity and in how? Zero hunger. Our SDG is looking at. The sustainable development goal to end hunger, achieve food security, and improve nutrition and linkage among supporting sustainable agriculture, empowering small farmers, promoting gender equality, and ending rural poverty. Other issues addressed within the set of 17 sustainable development goals in the post 2017 development agenda. And second is that deserve attention and including micronutrient availability and healthy diets. Inadequate micronutrient intake of mothers and infants can have long-term development to link to the growing incidence of non-communicable diseases in both developed and developing countries, yeah? And then adequate nutrition during the 1,000 days from beginning of pregnancy through a child's second birth but they merit a particular focus. It's creation five years ago in incorporating strategies that link nutrition to agriculture, to clean water, sanitation, to education, to employment, to social protection, health care, and support for resilience. Extreme poverty and hunger are predominantly rural, with smallholder farmers and their families making up a significant proportion of the integrally linked to boosting food production, agricultural productivity, and rural income. And then agricultural systems worldwide must become more productive and less wasteful. Yeah, that's another goal. And then land, next goal is land, healthy soils, water, and plant genetics resources are key inputs in food production. And their growing scarcity in many parts of the world makes it imperative to use and manage them sustainably. So ensuring a healthy, of course, land, healthy soil, and healthy clean water and plant genetic resources is a key. It's another goal yeah, that needs to be applied in the nutrition and agriculture department. And then halting and reversing land degradation would also be critical to meeting future food needs. Reversing land degradation and halting land degradation. Of course, the food we've produced right now. And then there are many elements of traditional farmer knowledge that is enriched by the latest scientific knowledge can support productive food systems through sound and sustainable soil, land, water, nutrient, and pest management, and the more extensive use of organic fertilizers.
The next SDG is increase in integrated decision making processes at national and regional levels to achieve synergies and adequately address trade offs among agriculture, water, energy, land, and climate changes. Yeah, there is need to increase and eh? there is need to increase integrated decision making processes. The next SDG is given expected changes in temperatures, precipitation, and pest associated with climate change. The GLOB communities call upon to increase in investment in research, development, and demonstration of technologies to improve the sustainability of food systems everywhere. Building resilience of local food systems will be critical to averting that scale future shortage to ensure food security and good nutrition for all. Building resilience, building resilience of the current farmers, yeah? So they can be able to withstand the changes in temperatures, changes in precipitation, like technology generally, coming up with technology, yeah? That can be able to withstand all these changes and preserving our environment to ensure the next generation also enjoys the same benefits that we have enjoyed today. Thank you so much. And that's the end of our last session. Uh, it's the last session under this course unit. Uh, thank you for your time. Hey. I'm done with the last